uh, Shanghai, Niman Hao. I uh, I'm I'm very glad to take this time to uh, uh, address you all. It's um, it's been a while since I've been in Shanghai myself, and it's unfortunate that we are reduced to uh, merely a video link. But um, I hope after not too much time, um, especially given um, you know the uh, vaccination program and the, and so forth, I hope that uh, I will be able to come and visit and. Um, uh, see you all in person. But until now, I'll give a bit of uh, an update on what's been happening. I know there's a few questions that some of you uh, would like to uh, um, uh, get answered, so I'm hoping to uh, uh, enlighten those who are um, who are wondering. So the project, uh, in terms of the um, uh, what was described in the Polkadot white paper that was originally published in autumn of 2016, uh, in terms of deliverables, it's about complete now. We are uh, just starting out with um, uh, parachains on Kasama at the moment, but of course uh, they'll they'll make its way onto Polkadot once we're happy things are stable. Um, but being a paper uh, that laid out um, a sort of vision back in 2016. Uh, in the five years since, a lot of a lot of stuff has changed. As with most seminal research papers, um, we've opened up a lot of avenues for further work. Um, now, some of that work um, that wasn't really described in the paper is stuff like you know the XCM uh, cross chain message format um, that provides um, a very general and abstract way of chains uh, communicating with each other. Um, XCMP optimizations, particularly optimizations that take message passing entirely off chain and allow for a much more um, uh, cheaper and scalable message passing system. Um, peer overlay optimizations that um, you know will will help us scale um, up to and beyond the uh, uh, 100 parachain um, uh, limitations. Para threads, which of course were um, uh, created uh, in in Shanghai, um, or at least envisioned in Shanghai. Uh, all uh, uh, two or three years ago now. Um, Spree, uh, which allows for the uh, parachains to not simply trust, uh, not simply um, have to trust that uh, uh, the logic is uh, is honourable um, for whatever message is coming from the parachain, uh, but uh, uh, but allow um, specific parts of the logic to be protected, um, such that the uh, receiving parachain can actually um, be certain that that logic was executed. Um, faithfully and uh, and system parachains or uh, what was you know what I've described previously as a hermit relay chain, which is essentially a relay chain that doesn't um, have many or if any in normal circumstances transactions on it. All transactions, this to do with uh, balance transfers, staking, voting, all happen on system parachains, and that really takes the uh, takes all of the uh, um, um, extraneous workload of the relay chain uh, off its hands. So the stuff around Polkadot that's still bothering me at the moment is um, interchain integration, particularly the XCM message format. There's still much to do on that to ensure that it, um, it provides the right um, um, uh, set of tools to allow chains to do, you know, open up the framework to allow chains to do so much more beyond um, simple asset transfers. And this is something that, uh, you know, I already designed as part of the um, format. It's just that the, um, um, the mechanisms for integration need to be coded even if the format itself is very much forward compatible with all of the stuff that, that I want to do. But more importantly, the landscape has, has really changed. It's changed around us certainly since uh, 2016, um, both technologically, politically and socially. Um, it's a very different world. Um, we're on the brink of major regulation, uh, which at once, uh, you know, it respects that, that true peer-to-peer -peer software, um, together with, with its general operators, developers, um, are uh, uh, um, uh, you know are, are, are sort of protected, uh, but it does dramatically reduce the threshold for what constitutes um, service provision um, in the space, and uh, and it does dramatically increase the requirements placed upon those operators. And what this means is that true decentralization is ever more important, um, not just to Polkadot but to to all networks out there. It's not any longer good enough to decentralize only part of a network's operations. All services, um, not, not just blockchain building, must be done by permissionless generic keepers. Um, and if we ignore this, then we face existential risk.
So relying on centralized or federated ecosystem service providers for stuff like RPCs and boot nodes um, results in fundamental security issues for the network. And relying on a few generally named individuals to populate a body like the Polkadot Council is an endemic security risk as well for both the network and for them. Um, so to this end, we need to uh, we need to tweak or in some uh, you know in some way uh, evolve um, Polkadot and the Polkadot security system, uh, so Polkadot software framework into where it was originally going, but we need to get it there a little faster and, uh, and prioritize certain things. One of the things that we need to prioritize is uh, the light client, and in particular, the in-browser light client. Another thing we need to prioritize is a decentralized trustless boot service, something that allows um, clients when they start up um, to avoid having to go to one or, a, one or two um, uh, named servers um, to connect to the network. And we need a new approach to Polkadot governance, and this is something that I'm, uh, you know, I've been thinking about for some time. Um, and one of the uh, possibilities that I'll be um, describing pretty soon is the Grand Oracle. But also, uh, other things need to happen. Probably altering the technical committee to a body, even though at the moment it only has soft powers. Really, uh, we probably want to alter it to a purely advisory um, uh, body, likely off-chain. And uh, we'll probably also need to um, uh, to alter the uh, adaptive quorum biasing voting system to allow for extraordinary scheduling and fast tracking to avoid um, uh, relying on uh, the council. Now, this is um, these were things that, that, that sort of were planned uh, in my mind, at least long term. But I think uh, owing to some of the uh, changing um, uh, environment that Polkadot finds itself in, things that will need to be addressed sooner rather than later. Now regarding parachains, it's, uh, I, I believe, uh, I don't know whether it was me or parity, but I think, I think uh, 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 parachain uh, 2017 was registered. This was not a, um, uh, not meant to be a sort of Easter egg or a hint at, 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 at future, uh, um, uh, actions. It was really just uh, testing out <laughs> whether whether we could register a parachain or not. But uh, so Parity doesn't have any immediate plans, just uh, for those who are wondering, to launch any parachains beyond the common good parachain projects that we've already got underway, which are State, Mi State Mint and State Mine um, and, uh, and the Canvas smart contract chain. That said, we do have a few ideas and uh, we will be exploring um, uh, these ideas um, in the coming months uh, as and when our bandwidth uh, opens up. Yeah, we don't we don't have any uh, specific plans right now. So regarding uh, slot auctions, of course, Polkadot um, enabling them is something that that everyone's um, sort of interested in. Uh, the final decision rests in the hands of, of the Polkadot governance, uh, which uh, at present is the Polkadot Council, and and um, and of course the. Um, assembled stakeholders of Polkadot. Um, in terms of technicals, it's really dependent on getting the relay chain client and Cumulus running very smoothly with the Kusama um, parachains and parachain slot auctions. Um, we don't really want to start the slot auctions on Polkadot until we're sure that uh, the parachain um, that logic itself is, is um, reasonably stable. Um, and we're not there yet with Kusama. There have been um, one or two issues over the last few weeks. But of course, with every solved issue, we do take a step closer um, to the point that we're going to get comfortable um, rolling it out on Polkadot. So, um, you know, I, I, roughly speaking, I would expect one or two weeks without any major issues, of just smooth running. Um, and of course, on top of that, we want to um, uh, get Polkadot audited um, and uh, by an external firm, which is already underway. Um, and make sure that, uh, that that the code has no um, uh, um, no major issues. Uh, and finally, in terms of uh, state mine asset, generic asset issuance and permissionless asset ins issuance is is something that you know uh, I'm very interested in enabling as soon as possible. Um, we do plan to do this in the near future. Um, we would like to roll out. Um, permissionless asset issuance uh, sort of a step at a time um, and, and although there, are, there aren't that many steps that we can take before before it, there is one that we would like to take which is essentially 
um, allowing um, one or two um, uh, permissioned assets to be issued um, and seeing how uh, people use um, those assets or when they're in use, how the chain um, is, uh, manages the workload. So that's something that, um, that would be good to do. But uh, broadly speaking, um, I, I would expect it to be days, not weeks. Uh, before state mine, um, uh, before we do um, uh, sort of enable that the, the the asset issuance function. But again, I really do need to emphasize that this is um, ultimately the Kasama uh, governance uh, uh, systems decision, um, not ours. We can only give technical advisory on it. The process of testing it on West End is already underway, and uh, and really once that's completed, then um, then I think we can do the final steps, so or we can at least advise that the final step can be done on Kusama. And with that, I uh, bid you farewell for now. I hope um, uh, I hope the answers were reasonably enlightening, and I do uh, very much hope to see uh, 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 you guys in Shanghai again in the not too distant future. Um, cheers.